The e-learning center at Prince Sultan University present this tutorial on how to add a quiz in Moodle. To add a quiz activity to your course, follow these simple steps. First, access your course page and click on edit mode from the top right corner. Then, locate the desired section on your course page where you want to add the quiz activity. Next, click on add an activity or resource to access the activities list. After that, select quiz from the activity list. Moving forward, we start with the general section, where you can provide important information for your quiz. First, you can enter the quiz name, as this is a required field and the chosen name will be displayed on your course page. Second, you have the option to add a description, which is an optional feature. In the timing section of the quiz settings, you will find various options that allow you to control the timing of the quiz. Firstly, you will find the options open the quiz and close the quiz. These options determine when students can start and complete their attempts. You need to enable and select the dates for these timings. Next, you have the choice to set a time limit. When this option is enabled, the time limit is displayed on the initial quiz page. Additionally, there is the when time expires option and this setting controls what happens if a student fails to submit their quiz attempt before the time expires. If a student is actively working on the quiz, the countdown timer will automatically submit their attempt. However, if they have logged out, the selected option determines the action taken. You can choose from the following options. 1. Open attempts are submitted automatically. This is the default. Two. There is a grace period when open attempts can be submitted, but no more questions answered. 3. Attempts must be submitted before time expires, or they are not counted. Now let's explore the grade section, where you can control the grading of the quiz. Firstly, you have the grade category option. This allows you to assign the quiz grades to a specific category in the gradebook. Next, you can set a passing grade for the quiz using the grade to pass option. By connecting this to activity completion and conditional activities, you can ensure that students must pass the quiz before accessing follow-up activities. After that, you will find the attempts allowed option. You can choose to allow students multiple attempts and specify the number of attempts they can make from the drop-down menu. Moving on, there is the grading method option. If multiple attempts are allowed, you can select one of the following methods to calculate the student's final grade. Highest grade. The final grade is based on the highest grade among all attempts. Average grade. The final grade is the average of all attempts. First attempt. The final grade is determined by the grade earned in the first attempt, disregarding subsequent attempts. Last attempt. The final grade is based on the grade earned in the most recent attempt only. Next, let's proceed to the, the layout section. Here you will find two options that control the layout of the quiz. Firstly, you have the new page option. This allows you to divide longer quizzes into multiple pages by limiting the number of questions per page. When you add questions to the quiz, page breaks will automatically be inserted based on the setting you choose. However, you can also manually move page breaks on the editing page. In the second option, accessible by clicking show more, you have navigation method. Here, you can specify how the navigation within the quiz will work. When sequential navigation is enabled, students must progress through the quiz in order and are not allowed to return to previous pages or skip ahead. Now let's delve into the question behavior section which allows you to control various aspects of the quiz. First, we have the shuffle within questions option. By selecting yes from the drop-down menu, the parts of each question will be randomly shuffled each time a student attempts the quiz. It is important to note that this setting applies only to questions with multiple parts, like multiple choice or matching questions. Next, we have the how questions behave option, where you can choose from several common choices. The first choice is deferred feedback. Here students must submit the entire quiz before they can view any grade or feedback. The next most common choice is interactive with multiple tries where students submit each question and receive immediate feedback as they progress through the quiz. In addition, by clicking show more, you can access each attempt builds on the last option. 
If multiple attempts are allowed and this setting is enabled by selecting yes from the drop-down menu, each new quiz attempt will build upon the results of the previous attempt. This allows students to complete the quiz over several attempts, preserving their progress. Following that, in the Review Options section, you can customize the visibility of information to students when they review their quiz attempt or report. These options determine what students can see at different stages of the quiz. First, let's look at the during the attempt setting. This option is only relevant for certain quiz behaviors, such as interactive with multiple tries. It allows feedback to be displayed during the attempt. The second option is immediately after the attempt. These settings apply within the first two minutes after the student clicks submit all and finish to complete the quiz. Moving on, the third option is later, while the quiz is still open. These settings apply after the initial two-minute period, but before the quiz close date. Lastly, we have the after the quiz is closed option. This setting controls what students can see after the quiz close date has passed. It's important to note that if the quiz doesn't have a close date, this state is never reached. In the appearance section, you have the ability to customize how the quiz is presented. Let's go through each option. One show the user's picture. Enabling this option will display the student's name and picture during the quiz attempt and on the review screen. This helps ensure that the correct student is logged in during invigilated exams. Two decimal places in grades. This setting determines the number of digits displayed after the decimal point when showing grades. Three decimal places in question grades. Similarly, this setting controls the number of digits displayed after the decimal point for individual question marks. Moving on to the extra restriction on attempts section, you have the option to add extra restrictions to your quiz. One such restriction is the requirement of a password for students to access the quiz. Simply enter the desired password in the input field and click enter to save it. You can also reveal the password by clicking on the eye icon. In the overall feedback section, you can enter feedback text that students will automatically see based on their score range as defined by the grade boundaries. For example, if you set a grade boundary at 100% with feedback text well done and another boundary at 40% with feedback text please study this week's work again, students will receive the corresponding feedback depending on their score. Finally, scroll down and click on save and display to save your changes and continue. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching. Please don't hesitate to contact us for further support.